It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute, episode 249. In today's episode, Walmart uncorks private label wine. Walmart is getting into the wine business. They've introduced a new private label wine collection called Winemaker Selection. It includes 10 wines sourced from California, France, and Italy. Each wine in the collection has distinctive labels, but shares the winemaker selection branding and similar rear label designs describing the wine's point of origin, description, and suggested food pairings, making shopping for wine easier. Al Dominguez, Walmart's Senior Vice President of Snack and Beverages, a job that I would like, told Arkansas Online that most of the wines retail for $11 and drink like a $30 bottle. Walmart has put a sharp focus on private labels as of late, which aims to create customer loyalty, improve with sourcing, and of course, add to the bottom line. Sam's Club also recently launched their private label Members Mark wine, So that should provide plenty of insight to the private label alcohol market. The winemaker selection launch follows retail grocery brands Trader Joe's with their well-known Two Buck Chuck and Target, which launched its line of bargain wines called California Roots last fall. Aldi is serious in the spirits business. Their private label $17.50 whiskey just won two gold medals and an international spirits award for its scotch whiskeys and beat out competition, which retails at nearly three times the price. Its rosé wine is the proud recipient of a silver medal from international competition, and its gin has been crowned best in the world multiple times as well. Wine sales are expected to grow nearly 6% annually through 2023, so Walmart is in the right place at the right time with a new rollout. The collection will be available at 1,100 Walmarts across the country, but not in Pennsylvania. Uh, John, you realize that the snack and beverage guy doesn't really just eat all the snacks and beverages, right? Oh, oh wait, hold on. Does he get the sample? He gets the sample them, right? I guess he can. I mean, imagine probably, was, set, probably people send him a lot of snacks and beverages. Can, yeah, just, this is what I was going to say. John Suter, senior vice president of snack and beverages. <laughs> Can you imagine a better title in the world? Oh, that'd be just snack and beverages. So yeah, he could probably get to snack and beverage a lot. So yeah, private labels exploding. You've seen that. I mean, private labels been around for a long time. You remember when generic labeling came out? The thing used to be you'd, go, you'd see the private grocery label, and it was the uh, Kellogg's cereal, and then it was the you know giant brand cereal. And it was always looked at as subpar. Right. That is not the case any longer. Uh, the quality has really improved. Now, there are some things that, you know, I'll give you a great example, coffee. You know, coffee, if you buy, if you buy like the grocery brand coffee, it's not going to be as good. But, you know, it's also probably half the price or a third of the price. That's kind of a small example. But in general, the private label stuff is generally good or better. And you're going to save money because you're not paying that, that marketing tax on the product. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we've seen people like brandless try to be a, you know, on branded, branded store. Perfect example. Um, but yeah, I mean, two buck Chuck has always been, you know, around and now, you know, I guess Walmart is really getting into it and winning the awards is kind of interesting that it's been crowned the best world, like the, the gin. I need to, yeah. get some, I need yeah, to find no, some. I was going to do, I was going to do a separate article on the Audi thing, but I stumbled across the Walmart. So I decided to combine the two. The Audi thing is really surprising. But you have to realize that they have the European footprint. So that's a bigger, you know, that's that's the experience European and it's the, the, uh, you know, the laws and all that stuff. So they've been probably been selling uh, alcohol in grocery stores for, you know, for decades instead of now. I mean, for under 20 bucks whiskey and and it's has two gold medals like that's crazy yeah i'll send you a link to the article it's it's mind-blowing actually uh, that they have all this award-winning stuff yeah i mean it's right up my alley i mean whiskeys i buy that i like are not twenty dollars so really the point of this is walmart we've talked about uh, we've talked about this at length that they are trying to up their image um this kind of gives them an image of quality and as we said they're chasing that deep-pocketed millennial uh, buck as i always like to say you know, they're trying to keep pace with uh, Lidl and Aldi. And Aldi, it, it's it's surprising because if you go into an Aldi, it's about as stripped down as you can get. Yep. But their stuff's great and their prices are good. And I think Walmart's kind of seeing them in the rear view mirror, um, especially, th- you know, because now Walmart's trying to go bigger in grocery. When someone's got a dollar, uh, you know, where are they going to spend that dollar? If Because I know when I go to Aldi, I'm surprised how much stuff I can walk out with as opposed to if I go to a Target or a Walmart. 
Um, yeah, I, think- I mean, my mom, my mom shops at my mom shops at Ali and she loves it. Yeah, like she, right? she would get, I mean, it's certain things she would go get there, right? So there's definitely a few things that she won't, but there's plenty of it, and you know, they really stripped it down from no frills, but it still works. It's yeah. unlike the airlines, but you're not going to walk in there and find brand names. You're going to find these other, these, these brands that you've never heard of. Um, and we've done the trial and error. Well, there's, there's tons of stuff, but like, we'll go there and just buy our canned goods. And it's the same, it's the same canned goods. It's just a, you know, an odd brand. The one thing about Walmart that I noticed is that they're pricing it, uh, they're pricing their wine a little higher. I've noticed that the target California roots private label is only five bucks. Uh, Trader Joe's, obviously, and Lytle's wine options, they're as low as three bucks. Walmart's are 11 bucks across the board. So I'm hmm. wondering what, what that price point is about. I mean, really, it comes down to taste. And if this stuff is great, then people are yeah, going to go, hey, it's the, new two, it's the new three buck chuck. It's the Walmart $11, $30 bottle of wine. Right. Who knows? But it you know, obviously remains to be seen. And the bottles of wine, uh, the labels on the wine look great. I mean, it looks like some high-end stuff. It doesn't look like something that you bought at Walmart. So, you know, this might be, uh, you know, this might be a good thing for them. Um, but we'll see. Again, wine people are pretty particular. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. you're going to get the person. You know, here's the thing about wine, too, is that they say, if you stock wine in your store, people are always going to, you know, people that run in for a bottle of wine generally never leave with just that bottle of wine. So it's a smart move for them to put wine in the, in, you know, probably be located next to the grocery department. So it's like, I'm going to run it for some wine and oh, maybe I'll get some chips and maybe I'll get a little cheese because according to Nielsen, the average, average consumer spends $47 per trip to the supermarket when they don't make a wine purses, purchase, but it jumps to 75 when the shopper buys wine. So yeah. either they've already sampled the wine and they're drunk shopping or they go, uh, <laughs> drunk shopping, <laughs> drunk shopping. So yeah, you know, it's, it's also a, a good, um, Car, cart filler because if you walk into Walmart, it's like walking into Target trying to buy one thing. It's it's almost impossible. Yeah, it definitely is. All right, Walmart wine. We'll have to check that out when it comes around. Got anything else, Bart? Time to get drunk. <laughs> what? <laughs> Time to get drunk. <laughs> Time to get drunk. Oh yeah, that's Friday, isn't it? All right, happy Friday, everybody. <laughs> that's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet on Monday. Time to get drunk. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy. <laughs>